Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video. So like three years ago, I did a video on the Reese Goose Box and I wanted to do a three year follow up on it and tell you how I've liked using it. And uh, I can tell you that I like it. I like it a lot. I love the fact that I don't have a big old hitch in the bed of my truck anymore that I have to haul in and out or choose to leave it there. Some people do. I don't like that because then you lose the use of the bed of your truck. Um, I love how streamlined it is. So all I got to do is just drop a ball in the bed of my truck. When the ball is not there, I have a nice flat bed. And so it's made it really nice. Along with that, there is an airbag that is built into this. And that makes the ride so much more, uh, so much smoother. Uh, the first time I used it, I set the PSI in the air bag at 50, which was way, 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 way too much. That is the maximum PSI for this. There's actually a little sticker on the side here that the, where it's supposed to be set. So you put some air in it and it's supposed to be in the green and you're supposed to check it after you move it so that it can settle. Uh, I found that running it from at about 12 to 15 PSI is the right place for this trailer. This goose box is rated up to 16,000 pounds. And this trailer is, does not weigh, weigh anywhere close to that. So it doesn't need that much air. So another thing that I get a lot of, I get a lot of comments because I tow this with my Tacoma. And I'm constantly getting comments about, you can't tow a fifth wheel with your Tacoma. That's too much. It's too heavy. You're going to kill somebody or yourself. Calm down. So the trailer weighs 4,500 pounds empty, and it's got a GVW of 6,700 pounds, and it's only 23 feet long. So I am well within my weight limit for my truck. And it's got a pin weight of... I think uh, it's like 850 or 900 pounds. So I am within the limits of my truck. So you can go ahead and calm down. Uh, hooking it up is really easy. You just lower it down over the ball. Um, I have a compressor that is built into my truck and I tapped into it so that I can just adjust the airbag right from there. It's really easy. I did end up dropping it down to the lowest hole so it's, uh, the hitch is dropped down to the lowest setting uh, for the trailer to give uh, between the bed of my truck and the top of the bottom of the trailer right here. I want the most clearance possible. So I dropped the hitch down to as low as it can go. Uh, I was doing that by myself. So I was trying to kind of pivot and swing it. Uh, I loose, I removed a couple of the bolts and tried to drop it down and ended up swinging too far and I pinched a wire and grounded it out. So that was fun. So almost, uh, caught some stuff on fire. I caught some wiring, uh, that went up in smoke. Not the smartest thing I've ever done, but still not the dumbest. Uh, so I did have to get a new breakaway switch because I fried that. Uh, we can see that I put some safety chains on here. I also put some hooks and a couple of bolts in there to give it a place so they can be a little bit more organized. The breakaway, breakaway switch is also there. I uh, roll up the cord and stick it into the back side to keep that nice and organized. And then same thing on this side. We got the chain over here. And they put the Reese Goose Box sticker on upside down. But here's the bed of my Tacoma. You can see that it's just a ball. So I still have use of my bed instead of having a big fifth wheel hitch in my bed that I got to haul in and out. I really like how clean that is. Uh, I take the ball out when I'm not towing the trailer and it's got a little cover that drops down on top of it. And here's my air hookup and my hose so that I can adjust the air in the hitch. Here's where we have the adjustment for the hitch. So this middle switch right here, that's the adjustment for that hose. The left and right switch is for the Firestone airbags that I have for the suspension. And then we have the pressure gauges up here. This one is for the hitch. And then these two, there's two needles in there. There's one orange and one black. 
that is for the suspension. So this is actually the first version of the Goose Box. It uh, does not have a way to lock it. The newer ones actually have an extra tab. I believe it's on this lever that uh, allows you to put a lock in it. So this one does not have a lock in it. And so we had to find other ways in order to secure it. And those are things I'm gonna go over in the next video is ways to secure uh, and lock the trailer with a goose box like this to keep people from being able to steal it or at least try and keep them from stealing it because a determined thief will be able to get it. But it's gonna stop probably 90 some odd percent of thieves. So if you guys think that I'm doing something totally ridiculous and stupid towing a fifth wheel with my Tacoma, go ahead and leave a comment in the section and tell me how stupid I am. Um, otherwise, I like the hitch. It's done absolutely fantastic. And uh, I think you'll be happy with it too. So uh, we'll catch you on the next one when we show you how I lock this thing up.